so a paper that I read recently is a 2019 uh, paper by Zahra Hoodboy et al. Um, and the name of the paper is uh, Use of Machine Learning Algorithms for Prediction of Fetal Risk Using Cardiotocographic Data. And basically what that means is that you use two non-invasive transducers, um, put them on a pregnant person's belly to read data about fetal heart rate and uterine contractions. And then they use a couple different types of machine learning algorithms uh, on that data set to pick up patterns, patterns that might be too subtle for the human eye to catch. Um, and their algorithm gives you an idea of whether or not the pregnancy might be at risk for complications, which is really important to know from an early stage so that you can tell an expecting parent how often to visit their doctor for prenatal care and to be prepared as a physician for any interventions that might be needed. Um, and so there's a couple of reasons why I find this really exciting. Um, first, I think there's maybe a bit of a hesitancy to adopt technological advances, especially um, in the area of childbirth. And so I think it's really exciting to kind of overcome that and um, come up with new ways to non-invasively monitor fetal health safely um, and to sort of just introduce more tech into the field. Um, another reason why I think this is really exciting is that this sort of algorithm um, using affordable machinery uh, could be used in a low resource or rural area. Lastly, over the past couple of years, there's been more and more data showing huge disparities for maternal and fetal outcomes, depending on race. Um, we know through a lot of data that Black and Indigenous women in the United States are at higher risk for complications during pregnancy and birth and are more likely to have worse outcomes. So I really think that something like this um, could really remove some of that bias from the picture, like a machine learning algorithm that uses purely objective data on fetal heart rate and uterine contractions, right, um, could tell a doctor to reconsider a pregnant patient's risk stratification and, you know, get them the care that they really need.